I came to Washington to help my country. I tried to join the Marines in Indiana, and it was the first year that women were allowed in the military. So I marched down with my best friend from high school, and they lost our paperwork. That's how they dealt with women at the time. After the third time, I said, God's telling me to come to Washington. And I had started the mansion here. Being a single woman, you couldn't get lines of credit, you couldn't get loans. And I just said, credit cards are it. Applied for 48 cards. $500 from some, $750 from some, $2,000 from others at between 21 and 28%. Didn't matter, if you have nothing, why not? I had tried to interview for a job with advertising agency, and he said I wasn't qualified was invited to an event. There were 2,000 people there, and there was one person in the center of the room that looked really interesting. It was the chairman of the board of Ogilvy & Mather, which was quite extraordinary, and talked for two minutes. And he said, you have more ideas than anyone in my creative department. If you ever come to New York, come see me. I want to hire you. So two days later, you better believe I was in New York. I sat in his office and he said, any concept that you come up that my creative department doesn't, I'll pay you what I think your time is worth. He started sending these gargantuan checks. So I helped Ogilvy create cause-related marketing because that's always been near and dear to my heart. You are born to do certain things in your life and I always felt my role was to help other people. One of the projects was with American Express. He called me up and said, we need to do a national campaign that has no downside. You've got eight hours. So I was on a flight to New York and I happened to open up Time Magazine and there was a picture of the Statue of Liberty and I went, Bingo. I got to write the check for a million dollars that went to the Statue of Liberty. It was the first corporate donor they got to restore it. What happens inside the walls of the O Museum in the mansion is really quite extraordinary. And it's about dare to be different. Uh, anything can, is possible. It's pure magic. Everything we do goes back to helping other people. We are a nonprofit. Every year we've given away 600 to 1,200 rooms here, so it's a lot of people have been able to stay here. One of my favorite guests got a phone call from Detroit that Mrs. Rosa Parks had been beaten up in her home. She didn't want to go home right away. They flew her here right from the hospital. They thought she was going to be here just a few days while she healed, and I just bonded with her and became very close friends, so she stayed much longer and I learned so much from her. OMG, when it comes to the chamber, they have really changed my perspective. They have gotten me out of the mansion. I actually go to social events because of them, which is helpful. I've met people that are driving this city that are inspirational to me. So without them, I wouldn't be happy. God has blessed me and continues to bless me.